the ZT411 series printer manual calibration. Zebra recommends to calibrate the printer whenever you're changing your media type, and for most media types, auto calibration is adequate. Please look in the comment section for a link to the auto calibration video. If you're still having issues with your printer correctly identifying and printing on the media, then you may want to try a manual calibration. In order to place the image in the correct position on the media, we must first identify the features in the media you'd like the printer to detect. Second, you must make sure the sensors in your printer are set up to detect those features. Most media contains features that identify the start position. If your media has a gap, also referred to as web, or has holes or notches, select gap notch in the menu. If your media has a black mark on the underside of the media, select mark in the menu. If your media is a continuous roll with no start position features, select continuous. Please note that the label length on continuous media is controlled by the file that you're printing. Second, set the sensor type in the menu. For black mark media, set the sensor type to reflective. For all other types of media, set the sensor to transmissive. Now load the media and ribbon. Make sure the media and ribbon are fully inserted. If you have any media handling options such as a peel, liner take up, cutter, or rewind, please calibrate in those modes. If you're using media with the gap, also referred to as web or hole or notch, you want to make sure your sensor is in the optimal position to identify that feature. Move the sensor to a location where the light passes through the notch or hole. Try to avoid locating the sensor under the hole or notch radius. If your media is not a simple rectangle, such as a circular shape, locate the sensor over the leading part of the label. If you're using media with print on the underside, try to locate the sensor away from the print so the sensor does not get a false reading. Press and hold the pause and cancel buttons. Raise the media door. Press Next. Open the print head assembly. Press Next. Remove the ribbon. Press Next. Locate and adjust the media sensor. Press Next. Remove about 6 inches or 150 millimeters of labels from the liner. Press Next. Move the backing until it is under the sensor. Press Next. Press Next. Close the print head. Press Next. Remove the excess backing. Press Next. Press Calibrate to start media calibration. Start ribbon calibration. Open the print head. Press Next. Reload the media. Press Next. Reload the ribbon. Press Next. Close the print head assembly. Press Calibrate. The amount of media can be reduced by lowering the maximum label length setting in the menu. However, it is important that the maximum label length setting is larger than the label length you're printing. Otherwise, the printer may not correctly calibrate. Please note that the number in the menu is in inches. Press Pause. Press Feed to test calibration.
close the media door. 